Three Chinese astronauts are on their way to their country's Tang Gong space station after a successful rocket launch. This mission marks another step toward China's goal of sending people to the moon within the next five years. In the Gobi Desert, they were ready. China's space program surging forward. Wow, the force of that is just immense, even from out here. All this way, we can really feel it reverberating through your body. There's a real sense of how China wants to show us, by extension, the rest of the world what it can do. The three Taikonauts aboard en route to China's space station, a routine rotation underpinned by much broader ambition. Just a few hours earlier, crowds gathered to wave them off. Three men who are heroes here. Indeed, this whole event has been lined with pure and unashamed pride. Space, a nationalistic endeavor. Yes, number one. And just listen to the crew's commander. This is not about him, but his country. Carrying with us the blessings of our country and people, a firm determination to accomplish our mission, the desire to re-enter space and the support of our teammates, we will courageously journey forward into the vast universe. They won't say it out loud, but everyone here knows the context. An escalating global standoff with America, a superpower race for results. Are you optimistic that it will be China, the next country to put a man on the moon? We are now in the middle of the intense development towards the manned lunar landing. We are going to achieve our goal according to our plan. Indeed, China's space station is a symbol of its surging success. It has also landed a rover on Mars, and it is the first country to have returned samples from the far side of the moon. And its ambitions are broader still. China has Mars in its sights, simulated here in the Gobi Desert. This is more like outside the Mars environment. Mars landscape. And this is where astronauts will leave in this uh, Mars base. This, this center for students and tourists imagines how a Mars base could be. China does want to be the first to harvest and return samples, a truly groundbreaking feat. Uh, as a Chinese person, I would be very proud, there is no doubt. But what's more important is no matter who brings the sample back, it will promote the scientific and technological development of mankind. But experts say space is rarely just a scientific endeavor, and China is thinking long term. As space is getting increasingly more accessible, more satellites being put up there, that also enhances the military and defense capabilities of nation states. That is why the US is watching China closely. It may still have the lead in space, but China is closing the gap. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in Jiuquan, Northern China.